Amanil Kumar and in this series of quadratic equations I have taken a few examples where fractions are involved. The question here is solve x square divided by 4 minus x minus 3 equal to 0. So in these equations we have two things one we have fractions and then we have to solve by factoring right. So these are the two things which we are practicing right. Okay. Now whenever the fractions are involved the strategy is to multiply each term by lowest common denominator. That ensures that fractions are uh, taken care of. Here the only number in the denominator is 4 so we can multiply each term by 4 right. So what we get here is we have this equation x squared divided by 4 minus x minus 3 equals to 0. So if I multiply each term by 4 what do I get? both sides correct so here 4 and 4 cancels correct so you're left with x squared so the denominator is gone minus 4x that is the strategy 4 times 3 is 12 equals to anything times 0 is 0 so in one step you get rid of fraction all right now we can factor using product and sum so we're looking for product of minus 12 and sum of minus 4. The two numbers could be, you can try, right, 6 and 2, for example, is a good combination, 6 and 2. Since the sum is negative, the higher number should be negative, right? So once we have these numbers, we can write this in the factored form, which will be x minus 6 times x plus 2 equal to 0. Now in the factored form, you know, each factor could be 0 to provide us with the correct solution. So the first factor x minus 6 equals to 0 means x equals to 6, right? The second factor is x plus 2 equals to 0 means x equals to minus 2. And so we have two solutions here, right? So our answer is 6 and minus 2 for the given question. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.